And hello and welcome back to another episode of Foot Manager 2015 with Darby. And as you can see, I done a load of transfers, so let's get dig into them. Uh, Tom Nichols, a uh, good youth prospect, uh, five star, decent stats. I think you could work on his other stats. So uh, by a uh, more uh, guy for the future, we finally. Actually, bought Jordan Abbey. His contract was going out to get for 8.5. Why would I say no to my future captain? To give the guy I envision as my future captain for 8.5 million and it's worth 20. Typical Liverpool doing this, really. Typical Liverpool. We got Suleiman Konate. An absolute steal. He did really good in uh, either the Con Confederation Cup or the Under 21s, which is. One, either one of those made me get him. Uh, I loaned him out to Dortmund for this season so he could get some playtime. Uh, but he will be back in the season and hopefully he will do good. Uh, 7 million is a steal. We got Dave Wallace, who's a uh, striker slash midfielder. Uh, yeah, he's played a lot. You're gonna see him play less, but he's a really good rotation player and he doesn't moan about not playing all the time. So, yeah. Simon Ansk is another huge prospect. Uh, he might only have a four star potential, but yeah, he plays. I've seen him and I really use him and he plays like he has five stars, you know. He plays like a world class player, really, so yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll get to the big, biggest one later. Uh, Mark Malik Abadon, I paid too much for him, I know, but they wouldn't want him unless he's played a little but. I uh, we're getting this by right now. We got George Emo. Uh, I need another left back fully. Uh, only 21 years old. Uh, has only played four games for me. 15 million is not a lot for such a good player. And if I ever sell him, I will, no, I'll make profit. This guy. That this is what you, this is Liverpool top of uh, thing. It didn't buy him from a lot, but look at his. Uh, yeah, his skill ability is 2, his potential is 4, he got really good dribbling fingers in first edge, and he got the really good stats that matters for where I'm going to play him. And yeah, you haven't seen him play that yet, but he will be great. So yeah, it's an absolute steal from Arsenal. Jeppe Beckman, uh, my future, one of my future first, he will at least play a lot for me, but uh, I loaned him back to them so he could get playtime and develop. Uh, let's go to my transfer start to I uh, sold Odessias Vakalashti Dimishishosh uh, for actually 7 million which is great because I only paid 2.5 Profit uh, sold Enrique Buscala Laga Laga uh, because I don't really need him when I brought in Dave Wallace and I got Konate coming back next season uh, He's been doing okay in Wolfsburg Wolfsburg who I'm getting a lot more close to after you do after I'm doing I say with them doing good there which makes me happy uh, Lundy, again, he was he was always gonna get sold when I got by the strikers. You know, I made profit. He was more of a, I'm sort of a wheeler dealer. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm okay with it really. I'm really okay with it. Uh, he didn't do too much, but he's okay, and I have a lot better players in that position. We can play assault Charbaloba to be able to make off of me buying the player I'm gonna take. I'm gonna show you soon. Uh, Goes for free, made nearly 40 million profit, which just makes me a happy lad. Uh, got saw George Simonas for because I brought in Gemo and I got Sito and I got Abdullahi and who else do I have? Uh, yeah, Steven uh, Sito. Yeah, Abdullahi. Yeah, I got enough players really in that position, so it doesn't really matter to me. And then. It's a big player, uh, yeah. <coughs> he doesn't have the potential to be one of the best players at club. He is one of the best players at club. He's only 23 years old. He has 4.3. He's a world-class player. He is. A, look at those stats. Only one, two, three, four stats in the uh, blue, and the rest of the stats green, and many of them. And a good one, important one for me, crossing is too important, he's not going to play so he's going to play in certain field, but passing is a lot more important, he has 19 passing, 
18 technique, you can tackle, you can take penalties, you can take long shots, you can head the ball, you can free kick, you can finish, you can dribble, he can take corners, he, he's fast, he got strength, he, yeah, he's just, he got really good mental stats, you know, he's the, one of the best players I ever signed in uh, FM, and it's worth paying 38 million for, at least when I could make back that money by selling a player who's not as good. So let's get to the schedule. Didn't see any of this. Ignore it. Yeah. Uh, in the community shield, uh, friend of I played against uh, Shek Shesky. Uh, Edward Jesse and Dave Wall is getting the ghost there. I'm going to show you my tactic later because I think I changed it this season from what I used to use. Uh, the Dane getting two goals and I also getting one in a Euro Cup Super Cup against PSG. Uh, started this season winning 3 0 against uh, QPR. I'm and got on so and now I'm creating that force, you know what United did, you know, which I'm gonna probably win I'm gonna win a lot of league titles, let's say that because I'm building such a strong team like United did did uh, in the before under Alex Ferguson. They had a strong team and they continued doing good and winning. Sometimes always ending in second third, you know, if they didn't win, you know, and then winning next season. That's what I'm trying to do. That sort of thing. Uh, I like Liverpool's in the eighties, um, seventies. Uh, QPR got beaten. Ibe and Russell getting two. Uh, one for three away against uh, Hull. Uh, Dave Wallace getting a goal. Julian Green and Russell getting two. I think didn't. I don't think he got injured. No, he did not. Four one against Aston Villa. Dave Wallace getting two. Got and Russell getting two and a own goal. I'm gonna guess. Uh, against uh, Everton, uh, Christian Chances and Dave Wolves scored. Uh, I'm going to go to the Champions League group now. And anyway, I'm playing Barcelona in the next game, so I'm probably not going to win it. I'm mean, if I know myself right. Uh, I'm going to crumble and die and lose. C, no. B, no. A, they managed to qualify this time. A, no. E, no. H. I have no idea where I am. G. I'm in dupe G. Yeah, I also am also getting the goals in the victory against the Schalke, who went through with me. And I managed to win 5 0 away to Olympiakos. Olympiakos and Sparta Praha wasn't that hard teams at all. Uh, Panda getting two, Ayos getting one, Sidan getting one, and was an. I don't know, I, there's a lot of weird names. I'm just gonna say, in in the future, I'm gonna get to play a name Bill. And um, that's not. He's, he's not named Bill. His nickname is Bill. Which I don't get. Uh, more on that in the future. Uh, yeah, against uh, Sparta Praha. Uh, Nick Powell getting two and the Dane getting one. Uh, two on at home, but a really, really reserved team. Uh, Nick Powell getting one and Dave Wallace getting one. Messi get a draw away to against Schalke, which I'm really proud of because they're, they're a really good team. So, yeah, so uh, we're really happy about that. Uh, Morris getting two and Panda getting one. And I really I put up my worst team really because it didn't really matter. I was going to end first anyway, so why bother really? 3-0 uh, against uh, Man City, Rosel, Green and Arguello. Uh, next game in the Premier League was against Chelsea. I love hard games, you know, but like, um, I missed a couple of cups, sorry. Uh, Panda and I also getting the goals. I put a resume him here so I could rest my best players and uh, get a 2-0 victory against Chelsea. In the Premier Division, Arguello and Rosel getting the goals. 2-1 against Tottenham away, Ibe and Russell. 5-2 uh, against Brighton at home. Russell getting one. Ayosa getting one. Aguero getting one. Jason Holland getting one. And Bautan Gilmes getting one. 4-0 uh, away. Which I'm uh, immensely proud of. As also when I beat teams like Southampton, West Ham. Oh, well, I won't say I'm proud of it. Because they're, they're in, in my head. They're, they're, they're good teams. you know. Maybe not in the game. But in my head. Uh, I'm getting two. Aguero getting one. And Green getting one. Nash Ruiden away against Reading after extra time. 5 2. Are you also getting two? Emil Hope, the Dane getting one, and Dave Wallace getting one. I think that means it had to be an own goal 
for them and for me as you can see by the oh no he missed the penalty yeah that's what happened uh, for zero against Stoke Russell getting one to John Green getting one and a own goal three to really proud of this against Liverpool uh, Butan Nilmaz uh, Jason Holden and Gat Andersel getting them goals uh, three two at home hard fought victory there Eduardo Jose Gat Andersel and Will Hughes getting them goal goal goals uh, uh, four two against uh, Newcastle again. Proud of that. Will Hughes getting one. Got Anders getting two and an own goal by I don't know who. Uh, uh, home against uh, Arsenal. I was quite sure I was going to win, so I didn't play all my best players. I played a really strong team because damn it's Arsenal. But yeah, Shabaloba, uh, Ayos, and Russell getting the goals. So I put up uh, a good team, but not the best I have really. It's the way to say that. Uh, against Bournemouth, I played Malek Abaddon. Uh, Jason Holden play, got a goal. Julian Green getting a goal. And Russell getting two. I'm scared to see how many goals he has. Cause he's, I don't think it's... I really don't hope he's going to do as good as he did last season. Because that would fuck with my mind and make me go crazy. Uh, yeah, Chabaloba got the goal in the club world championship. I really hate it. So I hope I really don't win the damn... Champions League, yeah, it sounds a weird thing, I don't want to win the Champions League, mommy, I don't want to play in the Champions uh, Club World Championship, it's so boring, that's really what I'm saying, uh, Ayosa getting one, Din Dinier getting one, uh, Bolsk getting four, and an own goal, in the Capital One Cup, quarterfinal, at home, Morris, Norris Morris that is, and Ayosa getting the goals, I'm really, this is really exciting because you're getting to see the place that I really like and that I grew in love with, not the uh, real place that I signed because they made sense, but the regions who I made and loved and took care of. Uh, Dave Walls getting two goals and Grat Andersel getting three. Uh, away against uh, Middlesbrough, Russell scored again. Damn, Russell, come down, please, come down. Uh, getting two goals. Uh, QPR, Russell scored again. He, he got all the two goals there. He scored one goal there. Julian Green and Ontari, in the first game for the club, scored on a free kick, I think, or something. Uh, yeah. For one time, yeah, in, man, in the next game, believe it or not, I played Norwich. Norwich. And believe it or not, Gatan Russell didn't score. Yeah, that's a shit game, actually. But Ontari got one goal and Panda got two. Then played Chester in the uh, FA Cup third round. Panda getting one, uh, Emil Hoiberg getting zero, uh, Ayosu getting one, and Lawrence Morris getting one. I was, so I looked at his name and continued the reading. Great job. Um, part of this win 2 1, got on the cell, and Dave Wallace, the two heroes of awesomeness, getting the gold. Uh, lost 2 0 against. Uh, Man City, yeah, not really anything to say there. Tottenham in the Cup One Cup semi-final, got Arsenal got that all important uh, equaliser, which wouldn't really mean anything because they lost at home. Uh, Dave Wallace and I also gave them up, put up a really shit team because, uh, to be honest, I didn't really care about the Cup One Cup. I know it's bad to say, but they got more important things to do. The Premier League, the FA Cup, the Champions League is more important than the Cup One Cup. It's a Great competition, but sort of tired of it. Um, yeah, but uh, FA Cup fourth round, um, Tom Nichols got his debut and scored two goals, and Norris Morris getting a goal and getting injured. Hopefully not forever. No, not forever at all. He's uh, all he's already with 5.5 million, which is awesome. Uh, then played Arsenal Villa away. Manchester actually win. I and Russell getting goal and Arsenal Villa. Isn't that good? Villa is really good in this. Uh, uh, in this game, so yeah, proud of that one. I managed to get a 1 0 win against West Ham with Gatan Russell scoring, yeah, and he's gonna have like 28 goals. He's like Luis Suarez combined with Sterling. I don't know, Sterling. It's like those two combined made a baby and called him Gatan Russell. He's French and born, he's half French and he's also born from. Uh, this is funny. Look at, his, look at his nationalities. Like he, he's he's born in a place called Saint Pierre in Reunion, uh, and his second nationality is Reunesi. I had to, I saw this. I had a fun time just searching up all the names just for fun of the place and the cities. 
Uh, I didn't know there was a f- place in the Caribbean called Reunion. Yeah. It'd be so much more fun. I just, the first time I thought, oh yeah, it's French. I was taking nationality French. Yeah, they, they're so bad they don't even play. And they have a player who's half that. Yeah, it's sort of weird, really. Yeah, it's a weird nationality to have, in my opinion. Uh, this is a stats for Ibrot 11. Jack Butler is doing good in goal. Nothing else really to show you. Uh, I'm going to go to the managers and how everything looks in this league. Uh, the last season in Derby, actually. Uh, it's not soon, but it's in a couple of seasons, so who knows. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't think I have anything more to show you now, really. Uh, play stats. I guess I can go to the score and show you how my players have been doing. Uh, players who played the most games. Bad Jack Butler, Ghostwise, Sid Scott, and Russell, Dave Wallace, Assistwise, Panda. Uh, it's going to love assist. Average rating wise. As you would have guessed. Let's go to tactics to see if I changed them to my new tactic. Because uh, I s- usually start with. Yeah. There we go. Awesome two strikers. I, uh, um, I just. I don't know. Awesome is usually the uh, tactic I start with, you know. So I like to have. Uh, that's when I don't have. It depends really. If I have. Uh, if Depends really what say. In Wolfsburg, I'm still using this because I don't want too many strikers. Uh, I got a lot of good, really good wingers and midfielders. So, yeah. But in in teams like these, where you got a lot of play, I got a lot of midfielders, but they're not as good as as many as stri- strikers I have. And this, this. Let's go to the next tactic. This tactic is a lot more attacking. I. Uh, uh, in my experience, uh, not only with this one, but with on new save, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go to another team after derby, and it works wonders there with two strikers and this tactic. This is a not as defensive and not more goal scoring tactic. So, if any of you want it, just say it in the comments, and I'll link it to you in Dropbox or something, or any way, shape or form. Because this tactic and that other tactic works. For me, at least, you could try it yourself, it's not hard, it's just a farm instruction you see flexible. Just put that, put them in the same roles as I did. Really, uh, really, if you want to do that, it's not hard at all, you know. I'm not that into doing all that sort of stuff, you know. But uh, it works for me, and what works for me works for me, and what works for you works for you. But yeah, uh, that's the end of this episode. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. If you want to follow this series or any other series I do, subscribe. And yeah. Bye.